the patients were looked at but not treated. So there was no standard of care. There is no, prior to Ingresa, there was no approved therapy for tardive dyskinesia. And if anything, uh, most docs were um, relegated to the position of, I don't want to do anything that's going to disrupt the treatment of the underlying psychiatric condition. And the recommendations were you know, stop the, the antipsychotic medication, which if you have schizophrenia, that's not very likely. Uh, or change from one antipsychotic to another, which can be very disruptive to the patient's status. So there really wasn't a standard of care. Uh, over the next year or two, the main initiatives will be around education about TD. To pay, not just to patients and caregivers, but really to neurologists and psychiatrists uh, to uh, let them know about the availability of the drug, that these patients are out there, but they're often uh, neglected. Well, it's a very vulnerable population. Um, we found, for example, that in recruiting for our clinical trials, uh, the clinical case managers, the social workers, the psychiatric nurses, these individuals were the ones who were very aware of TD because they see the patients on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, and so helping educate people about recognizing the involuntary movements uh, and that there is a treatment option available. That's the, that's the, the goal. Well, one of the things that has been gratifying, uh, we work uh, closely with patient advocacy organizations. So the Depression and Bipolar uh, group, the National uh, Alliance for Mental Illness, uh, Mental Health America, these groups are uh, really helping to get the word out about tardive dyskinesia and that there is an option, so that's important. Neurocrine uh, Biosciences is a very small company, so this is our first commercial product, and uh, there's a commitment among us on the management uh, committee uh, that anybody in America who has TD will have access to this drug, and so they're putting in place patient assistance programs and, and kind of support services to help allow that to happen. Uh, the next big thing, uh, Ingresa is currently in phase two for Tourette syndrome, so tick disorders uh, in, in children. Uh, and I just finished the treatment phase of the phase two clinical trial in children, and I should have data, uh, top line data, in May, uh, so in about three weeks or so. Uh, 